and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and we're here at Money 2020 in Las Vegas. Kindly joining me now is Brad Garfield and Brian Greck from Bank of America. Hello gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for thank having you. us. No problem at all. Now, Brad, coming to you first, can you tell us a sure. bit about your role at Bank of America, but also your objectives at this year's event? Yeah, so I'm the head of product for commercial cards and comprehensive payables at Bank of America. Um, Money 2020 is a great opportunity for us to connect with a lot of fintechs, uh, clients and partners, um, evaluate new solutions that are out in the market and um, see how we can constantly evolve the client experience. Fantastic. And Brian, can you tell me a bit about what your objectives are at this year's event, but also as a bank, what's your approach to managing the proliferation of um, payments and choices? Sure. No, it's great to be at Money 2020 because in our industry, it's where you see everyone. Everyone I've ever worked with, it seems like, comes okay. through at some point. <laughs> Um, our objective as a bank in managing payments is really to make sure that we offer a comprehensive suite of payments to our clients. We want to offer everything and we want to do it the best way possible. The challenges that creates for our clients is there's a ton of choice. And so while we want to enable that choice, we have to help them navigate those choices as well. And those choices can be quite complicated. Sometimes you know, it's going to depend on data available, on how they want to pay an individual. Um, and we help them optimize for whatever it is that they're trying to optimize for. That could be cost, efficiency, security, or the preference of the person who's getting paid. We have institutions all over the world, um, people who make payments all over the world, and on the other end of that, there's a human being who's receiving a payment. Of course, yeah. Well, following up from that quite nicely, what are some of the new trends you're seeing around innovation at Bank of America? Yeah. I mean, Automation is, I think, driving uh, a lot of what we're seeing now. You know, that uh, the real evolution is uh, instead of just focusing on uh, the payment itself, um, really trying to identify everything that happens before and after the payment, um, and all the problems that and pain points that a client might have around that. So, um, the there's pretty good data that shows that clients, you know, can achieve pretty good cost savings by moving from check to card. Um, uh, in the case of virtual payables for suppliers or for uh, payments to consumers with prepaid. Um, but their cost savings and efficiencies go up two to three times if uh, they can focus on um, more of the problems and the processes around payments before the actual payment is made. So a great example would be like invoice automation um, as part of your B2B supplier payment process. Mm -hmm. If you can uh, eliminate the checks, you can save a lot of money. If you can eliminate, if you can automate the invoice process, you can save two to three times more. Um, so really focusing on how we can automate that process end to end versus just focusing on the payment. All right, and what about the convergence of consumer and corporate expectations? How is this shaping up around uh, the product space? Well, it's definitely the case that all of us having much better and better experiences, for example, on our mobile phones every day, has raised the expectations also in the treasury space. So our clients are expecting to be able to manage their jobs on the go, securely, cheaply, quickly. Mm -hmm. And we as a bank believe very strongly in supporting that. In the prepaid card space where I work, uh, we've seen familiarity with the product type because every adult in America and around the world really knows how to swipe a card. Um, and so that comfort at the consumer level has emboldened our treasury clients to get comfortable making more and more payments via card. And I think also that electronic familiarity and expectation of being able to make digital payments that, we, that I just mentioned is now trickling into the card world. And at B of A, we've invested very heavily in our mobile app. We have half a million people who've downloaded the app and now use it to manage the prepaid cards that they've received from Bank of America. And we've also invested in digital issuance and in tokenization to allow people to spend their mo uh, prepaid cards out of their mobile wallet, which is really great. You can imagine a world where the plastic that we associate with the prepaid card, so to speak, becomes accidental and unnecessary. It's not really a card anymore at all. It could be just another digital payment used by anyone around the world. And so we definitely see a tremendous uh, increase in mobile adoption, and we see um, you know, prepaid card growing, even in a world where there's been a proliferation of payment types. But I think what we've helped clients navigate is that there's no single end state product that's gonna be perfect for every payee. Uh, there's always going to be um, a choice for the client, and there's always going to be uh, competing preferences for the people they're paying. All right, and what kind of time frame are we looking at? Well, our mobile app has been live for well over a year with good reviews, good results. 
the worst thing about a prepaid card in the olden days was after you started using it, it was hard to keep track of the balance. Now you know with one touch exactly how much remains on a prepaid card. And so that's been great for beneficiaries, for anyone receiving a refund, in terms of using the card as a spending portal. Um, in terms of the future, we have digital issuance uh, live now. We're very excited to be rolling that out with clients. And we've got tokenization and mobile wallet expected in the first half of 2020. Well, Brian, Brad, it sounds like you're doing some really interesting things at Bank of America. And I'll let you get back to the event now. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much for Thank having you. us here.